Hey there, guys. What you doing? I'm just, uh, hanging around. Yeah, no, it was bad, too. Don't, 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 don't hate me. Hey, Roadkill. How you doing? So, we're back with Let's Retro Comic Zone. So, let me get this one. Yes. Come on. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, I got the iced tea. Bless. Alright, I think it's down. Yeah. Can use... Tea. Get the one in here. Bomb, though. There we go. So this should, should, in theory, be the last episode of Comic Zone. I'm gonna save over this file real quick, though. Right. Let's go ahead and move on. Yep, high levels of nuclear radiation. You don't want to go in here yet. You gotta kill these guys first. If you hop in, you just you get the guy. Dude, the trick is, you can just do this, and you really kill them. You just want to stand here and just knock these guys back in there. Especially if they try to come out two at once. They just knock them to each other and they just drop. And I think you saw it with the first one that I did this for. And you just gotta keep doing this till they all fall back in and die. Yep, 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 come on. That doesn't count. I was doing so well, and then that happened. Okay, let's hit safe. Okay, let's try that again. Yep, high levels of nuclear radiation. Let's sit here and do this again. I'm gonna just skip all this until I get to where I was earlier. Get the circles and hopefully not get hit by the stupid magnet thing this time. So I'll catch you all guys there. In like two minutes. Hey, chill. Dirty. I found out you can just blow up and bomb the plane. I really forgot about that. I think I picked up an extra set of pills here. Stop that. Damn, boy. No, you cannot feel my ribs. Not? 
further and save save this one in slot three in case uh, I could do better again also I am looking up the guide because I need to make sure I find another iced tea somewhere Hopefully there is another one somewhere. Oh, there is no more. Okay. There's a there's a chance at me getting a heal. Not likely. Yeah, you're flying in. Pick me up a knife. You. Into the Last one. Three. I'm you. Yes, it did. You're dead now. Question mark blocking here. play that Russian roulette again. Here we go. Save. Slot three. Yes, now, if you're playing along, this is, this is it. Okay, no. I, I need to... I need these meds. No. Give me some meds. That's not what I needed. <laughs> nope, that's not what I needed either. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna try it like three more times. If I don't get meds. the grenade and call it a day. Do that. Oh. There we go. Yes. I'll pause that. Here's the thing. This is going to be tough. This is the final panel of the game. There's a good ending and a bad ending. Now, here's the thing. Mortis is going to transport himself back into the game, like into the comic book world. Now, the side that uh, Alyssa's in is going to fill up with rocket fuel. So, now we have to hurry up. Let me see. So to destroy him, I need to hit him five times with rocket thrust. To lure him down there, always stay within the first two ledges. Jump up and then jump back down. 
on the ground floor near the thruster, let it rip. Don't forget. Best to deal with the flying creatures on the ground level as quickly as possible. Okie dokes. It's gonna be fun. Full screen. They put I gotta defuse this thing. Not so quick, you brat. The game's not quite over yet. Oh, he's a robot. Come here, sweetheart. This nuke will blow your empire to shreds. And you're going with it. What's the oh, matter no now, Sketch? Get the chicken. Let me see how good you really are. Lure him down here. Ah. I see. I see. succeeded. Oh god, she's here with us. And Alyssa, his heroine, decided to join him in our world. She's like, what the hell? Her sketch, Alyssa and Roadkill. It was a new beginning. And what a beginning it was. Hey, Comic Zone became a commercial smash. Sketch's issue sold out on the first day, becoming the best-selling comic book ever. Alyssa Cyan joined the army, soon to become chief of security for the United States. Roadkill was donated 100 pounds of mozzarella, and when he wasn't sleeping under a pile of sketchy dirty socks, he spent most of the time exploring New York City's sewer system. And they all lived happily ever after. Until... Until what? Until what? You can't just do that to me. <laughs> oh, that was a fun game though. I like that. That was really fun. I mean, minus that weird random lag spike I had in the middle. I'm not sure what what caused that. I think it was just running too fast for the game to actually process. But hey. We got it. just wanted to say it has been a pleasure playing this game I had never beaten it as a kid before but honestly I love it every last bit of this game reminds me of the very the 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 how would I put this if you were a child of the 90s and you watch things like kids WB you know Batman the animated series man Batman the animated series had a very film noir-esque vibe to it and a very I'm a hardened you know on the streets type of hero and this game to me back then is what that reminded me of just in comic form here we go 100% superhero that's it But that is it, honestly, for Comic Zone. Let's Retro Comic Zone has been a blast. Like I was saying, this gave me that vibe of, you know, Batman. When I was a kid, it gave me that vibe. Now it's like, it's just a guy. It's a, it's a very isekai situation, you know. You're stuck in a world that wasn't the world that you're from. It's very different, and you have to fight your way through it to try to survive and save the world kind of thing. This game is phenomenal. If you have a chance to either A, play the original game on the console or 
play the emulator through, you know, the PC, play it. It's a fun game. It's not that hard. I mean, some fights are going to be challenging, especially if you don't understand the controls because they, they really don't really give you a guide. There's a whole bunch of combos and, you know, different moves. Like, I mean, you, there was an instance where I accidentally did, like, a flip kick over one of the Sturgils, I think it was, that we were fighting on the way back into that room. And I was like, oh, I guess I could do that move. And, you know, the AI is interesting in the sense that, you know, like, they, they give you tells that they're about to do something, but then sometimes they'll just not do it. Or sometimes they'll just flip it up and make it really difficult. And, you know, sometimes it makes the game unfair to some people. But in my opinion, it's a great game. It's a fantastic game. I love it. 10 out of 10. Would play again. Not anytime soon, but I would play it again. I wonder if they ever made a sequel. But, you know, that sums up Comic Zone. If you like this type of game or this type of, you know, aesthetic, I say play it. It's a great game. It's not many games like that, especially now. But other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Retro. I don't know if I'm going to do Kid Chameleon. I might. I bought the game. I love Kid Chameleon. But I don't know if Let's Retro is ready for Kid Chameleon yet. I might double down like what I used to do when I first started Shining Force. Double down on that so I can get two episodes of Shining Force out a week. And then try to progress the game a little bit faster. But I will definitely be playing more Let's Retro stuff in the future. Once I get... The new computer built, I'm sure everyone's tired of hearing about it, but once that's built, I do plan on playing some of my console games as well. So I'll be playing, you know, my Nintendo 64 and stuff like that because my capture card, while not able to use AVIs or AV cables, I will have an AVI to HDMI converter and then I'll just connect that and if I can record that way, you'll be seeing me play stuff like, you know, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and... Pokemon Coliseum because that was my favorite Pokemon game of all time and still is honestly I would play that game like every single day I wish they would make more darker grittier Pokemon stories where it's like the Pokemon villains aren't just imbeciles who just are like oh team rocket you know or a team uh yeah basically team rocket because to me it's like the team villains of every game they just kind of seem like bumbling idiots like they're like, oh well, you know, we're gonna we're gonna steal this part so we can make a submarine to explore the bottom of the ocean and revive a an ancient deity. That's cool. That's that's cool, but it wasn't it didn't feel as dark or as gritty as Team Snagum did in Colosseum. In Colosseum it was like you know what I should probably let me let me not say that. Alright, so pardon the random jump cut, but that's because I accidentally spoiled the part of the game. So we're just going to move along from that. But that game was much darker to me, I feel, during that era for Pokemon. You know, Pokemon has gotten some heavier themes now. You know, like in black and white, I feel that was the next heaviest theme in terms of Pokemon. Because, you know, that's the, that's a telltale story of, you know, parental abuse. Like parent abusing child type of thing. And manipulation and all that good stuff. And that was dark black and white in terms of storytelling probably one of my favorites not as dark though because the quote-unquote villain somehow had a very idealistic view of how things should be going so it's like eh I don't feel it was as dark as Colosseum when I when I play through Colosseum you'll see what I mean I will be playing through it that's hands down gonna happen like you're, you're gonna have to deal with that I will also probably be playing Top Gun because that's a game I have not beaten ever since my childhood and it's a gorgeous game but I couldn't understand how the game played worked back as a kid. But before I can even play any of that, I need to find my GameCube memory card. But that's enough ranting. I, I've kind of went on a tangent there. So either way guys, it has been fun with Let's Retro Comic Zone. I hope you all enjoyed it. But that's the end of that. Unless they have a sequel somewhere that I don't know about in which case I might play the sequel. But other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Retro. I hope you all have a great day. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. If you're not already a part of the Curly Crew, hit that notification bell so that way you already know when I drop a brand new episode and leave a comment down below. If you think one of your friends might like these old school games, go ahead, share the video with them, 
let them know that I'm here doing this type of stuff or if they might like other content that I make. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.